Good Morning People's Community Church. I have your morning announcements. The Berea Area Ministers Summer Lunch Program. The Berea Area Ministers, in partnership with Berea Cares and the Berea Kiwanis, have partnered again for the Summer Lunch Program. Due to the ongoing pandemic-related safety measures, as well as the efforts of the Berea school system, there will only be one distribution day during the summer. That will occur on Mondays between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Youth lunches, youth who need lunches can come to either People's Community Church or St. Mary's to receive a bag which contains three bagged lunches. Accessing this will not impact their ability to receive lunches from the school district distribution. If you have any questions, please contact the church. Our return to 631 last Sunday was a great success. Thank you for all of you who came out to support the ministry. We were able to manage safety measures while a few of us returned to the sanctuary. Unless there is a change in available public health information, we will keep this format at least through the month of June and will evaluate month to month going forward. Uh, Reverend would like to personally apologize for those who were not able to join us on Facebook due to our technical difficulties. As always, we have identified and addressed the problem and will be back online next week. We continue the promise provided the promise to provide substantive church at home materials and online worship opportunities. You do not need to return to the sanctuary until you are comfortable. We again encourage those who are or who live with individuals with conditions which place them at higher risk or severe symptoms to continue this online engagement. Please see the pastor's letter for additional safety precautions. We will continue our online services even after we are fully engaged um, as a congregation. Zoom and Facebook will go live this week at 1130. We ask that you tune in, invite friend, family and friends and the like, and share our feed so that we can spread the gospel far and wide. Check in with the pastor. Pastor Harkness would like anyone who is interested to chat with him on Sunday before morning service. The recent events in our world has caused extreme stress and trauma. At 10 o'clock, Pastor will be on the church Zoom line. And for about 45 minutes, he will um, allow an opportunity for check-in at that time. There is no agenda. He would simply like to know how we are doing as a congregation, how we are dealing with the news around injustice, and how, frankly, we've adjusted our life in the wake of the pandemic. What, what conversations you are having with your children, anything is fair game. So if you're interested, please join Pastor. PCC services, classes, and meetings will remain virtual for the foreseeable future. All classes, church meetings, and ministry engagement will take place through Zoom. As always, you can find the login information on the pastor's letter. Stewardship. Just a reminder that our stewardship does remain a critical need for the church. Uh, there are three ways to continue to give to People's Community Church. You can do that through push pay, your smartphone by downloading the People's Community app on Apple or Android, and then you can certainly continue to mail your contrib contribution to 628 Wesley Drive. Prayer call and Bible study continue to take place at noon on Wednesday and Thursday, respectfully. Our Wednesday prayer call is 15 minutes of power that will give you strength to push through the week. Our Thursday study continues in our series examining women in the Bible. This week, we will continue to a study on Mary, the mother of Jesus. Those who uh, want to read ahead can begin with Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. We have been having a great time in discussion. PCC Church at Home. Thanks to all of you who have been taking the time to engage in our Church at Home series each week. 
Reverend is asking that you dedicate 20 to 30 minutes at a time that works for you and your family on a weekly basis. Church at home using using the scriptures and the questions and the prayer prompts that Reverend has included in his newsletter will help facilitate your discussion. Please gather together and eliminate any distractions. Uh, connect virtually with others as possible. Take this time seriously and be uh, intentional. Reverend truly believes that this will dramatically impact our households and keep our congregation on one accord. The scripture and guide for this week uh, is in Pastor's Letter. Um, this week we will be reading Lamentations chapter 3 verses 18 through 26. And lastly, we received a card from our sister Eleanor Nolan, just checking in, letting us know that she's doing okay and she hopes that we are also doing okay. So thank you very much, Sister Nolan, for sending us that note. This concludes your announcements. Please remember to keep um, the church list, the church prayer list, and your church members in your prayers as you go through the week. Thank you very much.